Right, we had championship weather Ooh. again today, and that sunset was beautiful as well, Sean. It sure was. Yeah, I want to say thanks to uh, Brad Simpson down in uh, Johnson County here. This is Freedom Park in Greenwood. Just beautiful stuff. Some of the leftover cloud cover that we had pop up in the afternoon. And now we'll wait and watch. We were showing you the thunderstorms prompting some severe weather. Not expecting severe weather with this system. I think what's going to happen here, little area of concern to our west. Those storms will weaken on approach this time tomorrow night. I do want to point your attention here. Notice this is late tomorrow afternoon. We will see a few spotty showers and rumbles of thunder developing. And that main batch weakens as it comes in overnight tomorrow night but it will give us some showers going into Thursday as well. So a warm Wednesday. We're pushing almost 80 degrees in the afternoon, about a 30% shot of a shower or thunderstorm. So that means not everyone will see it, but some outdoor plans will be impacted tomorrow evening. This is at 2 p.m. These won't be severe, but they will contain some lightning and some downpours of rain. And then as we get into tomorrow night, Stabilize the air. We'll see some showers around. It won't be a washout on Thursday, but the first part of the day I think will be a little damp here. Uh, temperatures noticeably cooler on Thursday, but still well above the average high. That's in 60 degree range, so we'll still be 65 to near 70 on Thursday. This is one of two systems that will be cutting through. There's still time to work out the details, but a lot of the guidance we use to put a forecast together kind of telling the same story, and that is that Saturday could be a little bit wet. We will fine tune it. You might want to start thinking about a plan B for outdoor plans here. Uh, Thursday, we've got you at 68 near 70 in between those systems on Friday and dry. Possibly a wet Saturday, followed up by a breezy finish to the weekend with highs in the mid 60s. All right, Sean, thanks so much.